I, uh, Mark Cook, I've always idolized uh, Mark. I finally found something that, that he and I are similar in. He, he sat on the bench for three hours, I sat on the bench for four years. <laughs> Pardon? I'm among royalty today with Marv and with, uh, see, he'll be sitting down here, great names in Iowa football, as these guys will become uh, not only uh, the past four years, but when they leave this institution. But of course, uh, uh, no more important guest than uh, Joshua. Uh, this morning, welcome, Josh. Thanks for your service. Uh, uh, tomorrow, we've got an F-16 flyover. I get emotional because uh, I'm a military history buff. And uh, uh, I know what he's done for his country. Uh, tomorrow's going to be exciting. I'm uh, getting a little extra choked up because uh, Eddie and I have a little surprise right at uh, kickoff tomorrow. I'm not going to tell you what it is. You'll have to tune in as that flyover uh, concludes. Uh, no, we're not going to don a helmet and a rifle. Uh, <laughs> although Bobolek's done that before. Many times. <laughs> but. Uh, 147 years ago uh, this morning in Gettysburg, Abe Lincoln stood on a blood-soaked farm field and talked about a new direction for a country. And, and we think uh, we get all upset about a football loss. And then I think about President Lincoln 147 years ago this very minute uh, delivering the greatest speech in the history of the greatest country of the Gettysburg Address. And so football's a little bit, not meaningless, but a little less meaningful, uh, like last week. And nobody gets more upset over a loss than Polak and I. <laughs> we, we, we wear it on our sleeves, uh, but by Tuesday or Wednesday, we're starting to look forward to the next week. And, and, I, and I can't imagine how these coaches and players die with every loss. Uh, and thankfully, there haven't been many of those to talk about. Um, and, and then I, I realized it could be worse. Uh, I read uh, earlier this week where this Dallas Cowboy fan was late for work. He raced into the parking ramp, <coughs> remembered to lock his, his uh, car up, but he left fully expo exposed on the dashboard of the parking ramp his two Dallas Cowboy season tickets. He went to work, he came out that night, and somebody, sure enough, had broken into his car. There were four season tickets. <laughs> <laughs> Mill 
Charles from Hartley, Iowa. And Kristen Strawhacker from Johnston. Thank you for your service. Uh, behind the scenes, these guys work so hard. I see them at practice all the time, running all over the place, taking care of these football players. Uh, seniors, thank you so much again for your wonderful memories uh, the past four and five years. This guy has given us uh, a ton of memories over 12 years. And uh, I'm looking forward to uh, many more memories starting tomorrow. Kirk Ferentz. Coach.